you very much for all the clarifications. And I wonder the men who are uh, abusing, abound, uh, uh, leaving, and so on, what is the imprint print, print for them? Right, exactly. Well, it takes two to tango. Okay, you know tango dance. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You can do a tango. You can do a tango dance by yourself. Mm -hmm. Or what is the sound of one hand clapping? This is two hands, and this is one hand. What is the sound of one hand clapping? You need two in this in this transaction. You need the bully. You know, who's bullying the victim. So one is taking this role, the other one takes the other role. They both need each other. But what, back into your question, so you, I don't want you to think like I'm dodging answering your question, but I had to ex explain these two parts yeah. before I get into it. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, it's the same thing. It's the same imprint for the boy leaving. As I mentioned earlier, some of us, in order not to be left out, we're leaving, so we're not left out. Same thing, same abandonment. You're still abandoning the ship. You may be on this side or you may be on that side, but it's feeding off of itself. Okay? Thanks. Uh, Jesse. Yes, hi. Um, I was wondering, I've been recently become familiar with this anger and hatred. Uh, some of these feelings have become really present. So I started meditating on being a, just on trying to get to know that inner child. That seems to be beneficial. Um, kind of soothing that inner child. I wonder if you had any other tips for how something like that, that I can work on to just kind of heal this space that it's actually a sister more than a parent, at least that I can remember, but. Yeah. Um just simply by being aware of your behavior, simply observing your reactions. I'm not an advocate of doing therapy. My teachings is not about therapy. And I'm gonna, let me explain this part so it's clear. And I'm gonna have to mute you, but if you want to talk, we. I will un you can unmute yourself because of the background noises. This is where this teaching of 5D quantum awareness differs with majority of teachings which are rooted into therapy. Therapy is about us going back into our memory I go back to when I was chi child, let's say I got raped, let's say I got beaten up with an, by abusive parents. That's not my life, I'm explaining it, this is an example, okay? So my daddy used to get drunk and beat me up or rape me or my mom used to put I'm t using some extreme cases, okay? So now I'm carrying all these memories and these traumas and it keeps going, going on until self-awareness comes and now I want to work on myself. So I'm doing therapy. I'm going to someone who's qualified and they're going to take me back into my memory and take me back into this place that the trauma happened and I breathe into it and I look at it and I'm working on it. 
which is okay to certain point. At one point, maybe you need to do it so you feel like you've done it, but it won't work. It's not going to solve the problem. I have met thousands of people throughout my spiritual career. I call it career. My spiritual path. Thousands of people from all over the world and going from one healer to another healer, from one psychiatrist to another one, from one therapist to another therapist, been working on themselves for 30 years, 40 years, and it's the same story. Nothing has changed. They have spent they're, they're workshop junkies going from one workshop to another workshop, from one guru to another guru, from one ashram to another ashram, by going to this shaman, that healer, this new thing to the other thing, and they're the same mess as they were when I met them 30 years ago. Nothing has changed. Their spiritual ego became bigger and the medals they put here, the certificates of the courses they've taken, it gets more. But they are not anywhere. And I'm going to tell you why it doesn't work. Because you are working on the realms of thoughts, realms of mind. You are using the mind, means your memory, and you're going back in time, which is in your memory, because you're not going anywhere else, you're always here, and trying to work out your hang-up or the trauma that has happened to you with thoughts to fix it. And it never works. Never, ever. I don't care what kind of technique a new method comes, it never works. Until you discover the witness. Until you fall back into the place of the observer. And the observer is simply aware of this trauma is simply aware. So the trauma comes and these emotions come that you get tightened up or let's say one of your experience is that you've been inappropriately touched by a man. You were nine years old or 12 years old and you froze and they touched you. It was your uncle. It was your dad. It was your friend. It was your guardian, it was your nanny, and they touched you inappropriately. So there is an imprint in your cellular memory that ever when you're with another man comes and touches you, you immediately go into this contraction. And now you're trying to use psychology, psychotherapy to fix it by going back into this trauma, recreating it, breathing into it, thinking about it, but you don't realize you're activating your mind. So it's mind fucking. You're activating your mind to think of something. Keep thinking over it and over it. It never goes away because you're doing the wrong thing.